guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to do the VidCon Small Creators tag because I'm going to VidCon this year and it seems the thing to do, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So let's get started. Question number one, not a question, but just introduce yourself. Um, my name is Rachel. I go by the Junie Bird on YouTube, Twitter, and elsewhere online, and I make videos about things. I know that's not very descriptive, but I have a really hard time figuring out what my channel is or how to describe it. So some of the videos that I have made in the past uh, month or so include talking about going vegetarian, talking about going low waste, so those are kind of connected. Um, I talk about my faith a fair amount. I'm Christian. Sometimes I sing, uh, just songs about things. And talk about TV. I love TV. Um, I'm interested. I'm actually living in Los Angeles because I want to work in TV. So yeah, there you go. A little bit about me. Question number two. Why are you going to VidCon? And I'm going to VidCon in part because I've been to VidCon for the last three years and it's a good streak and I like it. Um, I'm also going to VidCon just because I really love YouTube and I love making videos, I love watching other people's videos, and I really love the community that has come up around both like my own personal channel but also the larger YouTube communities that I'm a part of. What are you most excited about for VidCon? And I'm definitely the most excited about uh, the vacation rental that I'm going to be staying at this year. So. I've, like I said, gone to VidCon three years in a row now, and I've had various different, like, hotel arrangements, but I've always kind of wanted to do, like, the big house where I stay with a bunch of friends, and I'm finally getting a chance to do that, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm really excited to collab with a couple people who I've, like, already reached out to. I'm excited to reach out to more people to potentially collab with. In a lot of ways it feels like this year at VidCon is finally what I've always wanted VidCon to be and what I had hoped VidCon would be the first year I went. Um, and it's taken some time. I've had to build a community at VidCon in person um, as well as build up my own online presence and like my videos and my interaction with people. So I'm really excited to get that experience. Question number four, what are you least excited for about VidCon? Um, and that's actually like scheduling. I am doing so much this year that I have no idea how I'm going to figure out how to do all of it. Like, I'm volunteering, I mentioned wanting to do a couple of collabs, I have femtube stuff that I want to go to, panels and other discussions that I want to go to, and concerts that I want to go to. It's just like, there's just so much to do that I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do all the things that I need to do. So, yeah, that's going to be tough. It feels like a bit of a cop-out, but the, it really is the only thing I'm not excited about. <laughs> Question number five, what are some of things that you're bringing to VidCon? I'll be bringing my ukulele, which is right here, which I'm excited about, and I will probably bring, be bringing my longboard as well. Uh, the, Vacation rental is a little less than a mile away from the convention center, so hopefully if I take my long word there, it won't be as much walking. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Question number six, 
Um, if you were to create a panel or event at VidCon, what would it be? I have a couple different answers to this. One of them is that I am helping to put together a meetup for the Road to Ner Nerdfighteria project, which I am a part of. If I was to create an event just like me by myself, um, I feel like I would do kind of a like songwriters meetup or like a, a really casual open mic and I know that there are open mics but they're just like so big that it's hard to um, it's hard to get seen on them and it's also just really hard to like connect with people or talk to people afterwards I would really like to create like a really small gathering that's almost like a story circle but with songs like music and or spoken word I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Question seven, what would your ideal day at VidCon be like? And it's really hard to tell because the schedule isn't out yet. But I will give it my best shot. Um, I'm gonna start the day at the house and I'll have breakfast at the house. Probably leave at like 8.30 or 9, um, maybe spend some time in the expo hall just to see what's going on in there, probably go to a couple of panels, um, do a volunteer session and have lunch. More discussions and stuff, maybe a meetup for Merge Nerd Fateria or FemTube or something like that and really love to be able to have dinner at the house with some of my friends and maybe film a collab or two in the evening or maybe sometime in the afternoon. I, I'm like, I, the schedule is not out yet guys. I can't make these sort of decisions. I'm very excited to go to VidCon. And I'm just very grateful that I get to go at all. Um, I know that this is not really feasible for everybody, so if this is something that you've wanted to do and you don't get a chance to do this year, I'm sorry. Um, and also, I hope you get to come next year. Uh, I hope you get to come sometime. That's, that's about it. I hope you get a chance to do something that you love today. Um, I hope to see you at VidCon if you are going to VidCon, and uh, as always, give this video a thumbs up, like this video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!